Hey guys, welcome back. So over the past few months, I've had quite a lot of comments and questions from you guys regarding my skin. Things like how do I keep it so clear and what I do to keep my skin kind of blemish free. Now there is a skincare video up on my channel from a few months ago, but to be honest, over the past few months, I have completely changed my skincare routine and how I look after my skin. And I really do feel like it's made a big, big difference. So today I am actually teaming up with Garnier, which is crazy to me. Garnier has been a brand that I've used pretty much since the start of my channel. If you've been following me since the beginning. First of all, sorry for my very awkward and bad videos, but you'll also remember that the Garnier BB Cream was and still is one of my die-hard makeup products. Now I do have another skincare video coming very, very soon. That one's gonna be a little bit more product-based, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But if you guys do wanna hear some of my top tips and tricks when it comes to keeping a clear complexion, please keep watching. Now I'm really sorry because this is the most boring tip and everyone always says it, but just drink more water. Drinking water is one of the best things you can do for your skin and your body in general. I actually am one of those people that hate the taste of water, even though you know there's no taste, there's a taste to me. So what I actually do is I mix it with like squash, fruit juices, fruit, um, lemon juice, whatever I can get my hands on that makes the taste of water a little bit more bearable to me. If I can do it, you guys can as well. And I've definitely noticed the difference after drinking a whole lot of water over the past few months. I rarely get spots anymore. Now, like I said, I don't really tend to get spots that often at all anymore. And one of the things that I have noticed that's made a big, big difference in my skin, and it's one of the things that I hate doing more than anything in the world, and that is cleaning my makeup brushes regularly. Now, I know some companies do do like dedicated brush shampoos and brush cleaners and things like that. To be honest, I can't really be bothered with it because they're normally a lot more expensive. So at the moment, I've been using the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Gel. This is just a sensitive one. This is generally just a really nice cleanser anyway, but I personally prefer to use this to clean my brushes. I like it because it's kind of got like a little hand soap pump, so you can squirt a little bit into your hands, and what I like to do is kind of make like a little lather in my hands as if it was hand soap, and then I might take a brush and I'll literally just kind of buff it around in my hand, and you'll see the product, like the foundation and the eyeshadow and stuff like that, just fall off. Now, if you have as many brushes as I do, first of all, I feel very sorry for you for the fact that you have to wash all of them like I do. But one thing that I will recommend is just go ahead and get like a rubber glove or something, just because it will protect your hands if you are gonna be washing them for a long time. I know it's such a chore to some people. I know I personally hate cleaning my brushes, but honestly, when you think about it and you think about how you're dipping your brush and you're putting it back on your face over and over again, that kind of scares me into doing it a little bit more. So definitely recommend you clean your brushes a lot more than you probably are right now. So now that we've covered cleaning our brushes, it's time to focus on cleaning that face of ours. Now, if there's one top tip I can tell you guys, please don't ever go to sleep with your makeup on. You know, makeup is great and all of that, but our skin was never meant to have makeup plastered all over it. If you look after your skin properly, then you can chuck as much makeup on your face as I do. You guys know I love a full coverage foundation. But if you look after your skin, then it really doesn't matter how much makeup you put on. You just need to make sure that you take it off at the end of the day. Now, I know what it's like. Sometimes you can come home late. Sometimes you can be absolutely shattered. You might not be feeling very well. And the last thing you wanna do is cleanse your skin. At minimum, I always make sure that I cleanse using a micellar water. Honestly, your skin will thank you for it, but just make sure you cleanse properly the next day. Now, when I say cleansing properly, if you guys have been following me for a little while now, then you'll know that I've always been a bit of a stickler when it comes to skincare, and I am a double cleanser through and through. I'm sometimes a triple cleanser, and by that I mean I will literally cleanse my face two, sometimes three times. That may seem a little bit long-winded. You're probably sitting there thinking, well surely a cleanser should just cleanse my face, do it once and you should be done. And one test that I like to do, and I actually like to prove to people that you probably do need to cleanse more than once, is I cleanse my face first, and then say I might go over with like a toner or a micellar water or something like that. And if you look at the cotton pad, you will see like remnants of dirt, makeup, whatever. And when you look at it, you kind of think, okay, maybe I need to cleanse my face a little bit more. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I always double cleanse my hair. So how I think about it is, say if I have greasy hair, I use the first shampoo to get the grease off my hair and I use the second shampoo to actually clean my hair. Same goes for my skin. First cleanse gets rid of the makeup. Second cleanse 
gets rid of the dirt in my skin. There are tons of different cleansers on the market. There are like gel cleansers, for example, like this one. There are cream cleansers, like this one. There are micellar waters, which I don't tend to think of much as a cleanser. I tend to think of it more as like a makeup remover. Now I do have a very extensive skincare routine, I will admit, but I do like to cut corners as much as I possibly can because let's face it, I would rather be spending those extra 10 minutes in bed. So when it comes to like eye makeup removers and things like that, I can't be bothered with them. I tend to use something that kind of just does it all, like this cleanser here does face, eyes, and lips. So you can just go in with that one product and it will take off your makeup as well as cleansing your skin as well. And then I just follow up with like a toner or even a micellar water or something like that, just to kind of get the extra scraps of makeup off that maybe I miss throughout cleansing or something like that. You know, sometimes I find that I'll cleanse my face and then I'll go around with a cotton pad and I'll realize that I miss some makeup like on my ear or something. So I always make sure that I do that and I will literally carry on doing it until the cotton pad comes pretty much completely clean. I've also had a few questions before about whether or not I use wipes. Honestly, wipes are kind of like a thing that I very, very rarely use. If I'm ever going to a festival or say if I'm going to the gym or something, sometimes I will use wipes, but to be honest, I find them pretty abrasive for my skin and I have pretty normal skin. My skin's not even that sensitive. So when it comes to wipes, I tend to steer clear from them as much as possible. Again, I'll just go in with the micellar water. I know that they do do like mini sizes. I think they're maybe like 30 mil or something. So really, really handy to chuck in your handbag or your gym bag or something like that. To be honest, I would generally stay away from wipes, that's my personal opinion. Um, but if you do have to cleanse in a pinch, then definitely go ahead with the micellar water. This one is a lot more gentle than other ones that I found. I know loads and loads of people love this and it took me a while to get on the bandwagon, but it's honestly one of my favorites. I find that a lot of micellar waters, they kind of, I mean, when you think of water, you literally just think of water, you know what I mean? But I find a lot of them kind of feel like, you know, when you jump in a pool with chlorine, it's bearable, it doesn't hurt, but it doesn't feel like water. Whereas the Garnier one does just feel like you're washing your face with water, only it takes off your makeup a whole lot easier. Of course, there are a few other tips and tricks that are very boring, but still very necessary, like healthy diet, getting enough exercise, getting enough sleep, which is something that I can definitely get on board with. That will help with your skin in the long run. Now, obviously, my skin is my skin, your skin is your skin. What might work for me might not work for you and vice versa, but these are just some of my tips and tricks on how I keep a clear complexion. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, some of you found it helpful. If you did, then please do give it a big thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.